this is the series where I try and book storylines better than the WWE itself. Today, we start Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens, and it's up to you to decide how I do. I am calling you out, Stone Cold Steve Austin! So it's Monday Night Raw, it's Damian Priest, it's Finn Balor, and they are beating the living hell out of each other because they're feuding over the United States Championship. Balor's getting the ascendancy, and he's trying to put Priest away. He eventually nails the sling blade, and as he's looking for the coup de grace, we hear Kevin Owens' music. Owens powers to the ring with a fire in his eyes and a burning desire for destruction. He makes his way down the ramp in quick fashion. He's making a beeline directly for Balor and Priest, and he gets in the ring. Boom, stunner to Balor. Priest doesn't know what's going on, so he goes after Owens. Owens hits him with a stunner as well. Kevin Owens screams into the air, Stone Cold Steve Austin's name. And of course, Owens has seen the message sent by Stone Cold last week on Twitter, and it's right at the front of his mind. Owens tosses Priest out of the ring violently, and then as quick as Priest went, Balor goes as well. But no one is safe around this man at the moment as KO also decides to throw the referee out of the ring and then he paces around the ring like a caged lion and he grabs the mic. He says he saw Stone Cold's perfectly produced little video. It's very cool, but that isn't the rattlesnake. Since when have you been into high production? I think you've gone soft. I think you've gone Hollywood like Dwayne. Only far, far less successful. You see, Dwayne doesn't need to come back, does he? But you do. You couldn't leave it. And you know that. So now I get the biggest match of the last 20 years since you left and I get to embarrass you in front of the world. So don't bring high production Steve Williams. Bring me Stone Cold Steve Austin. Fuck a KO show. I don't want to talk. I want to fight. I want to fight tonight. So Stone Cold Steve Austin, if you've got a backbone left, come out here right now. And instead of the glass shattering, we hear Vince McMahon's music and Owen says, oh, here we go. Another out of touch old man. Hey Vince, why don't you come here closer so I can headbutt your ass again? Vince says, no, no, this is close enough. And speaking of close, you'll be getting very close to a rattlesnake at WrestleMania, but I will assure you, this is not going to be a match. I'm not allowing it. Steve doesn't need to be wrestling. Plus, we have loads of other amazing matches on this stupendous WrestleMania card. The crowd boos vehemently. They want the match. They need Austin versus Owens. And Owens says, that's bullshit. He says that he thinks Vince is protecting the last asset that he feels like he has within this company. He says Dwayne left you, John left you, Sean's return was a dud, and The Undertaker is off making Instagram videos with his wife. Stone Cold is all you have left. He's the last draw that you have, and you know I'll put his ass down, and you'll be forced to use more of these millennials you seem to hate so much. Vince tells Owens to calm down, or he might send him to the scrap heap like everybody else lately. And Owens says, oh, is that right? So Owens makes his way down towards Vince. He looks at Vince and he says, so Stone Cold Steve Austin isn't going to wrestle at WrestleMania, and that's your call. Tell me, Vince, when have you been able to control Steve Austin? When have you been able to control the rattlesnake. And tell me another thing. When have you been able to control me? Kevin Owens stuns Vince McMahon in front of the whole crowd. The crowd is going ballistic. And Owens looks to the crowd and he says, your move rattlesnake. Owens then leaves Vince laying on the ground and he walks backstage where he happens to stumble across another familiar face from Twitter. This time it's Booker T. Owen says to Booker T, where's your little punching bag like you had on Twitter? 
I don't see you throwing ginger little shots now. I see a deer in the headlights. And Booker T says to him, are you offering? And then Kevin Owens lowers his voice and he says, you don't want that, Booker. You really don't want that. Owens then laces Booker T with a violent clothesline. Lays him out and starts throwing him all around the backstage area. Owens is talking all kinds of trash. He brings up the fact again that Booker T was in a team called Harlem Heat, yet he's so defiantly defending Texas. Throws Booker into the table backstage. He looks at him one more time and delivers a devastating pop-up powerbomb through the table. But Owens isn't done there. Owens drags the lifeless body of Booker T towards the ledge and then he throws the Hall of Fame legend off the ledge and through the table yet again. Owens stares down at the forlorn Booker T almost in a trance, breathing heavily, looking out of his mind. And he says one more time, your move rattlesnake, no more highly produced videos. Give me the old stone cold. He walks off and Raw goes off the air. The next week on Raw, Vince McMahon opens the show backstage and he says Kevin Owens has crossed the line. And he says, I could fire him, but I think that's too good for Kevin right now. He just signed a new contract with us and guess what, Kevin? I own your ass. So now I'm going to make your life hell, starting tonight when you run the gauntlet here on Raw. Four of my hand-picked opponents back to back to back to back. And if by some miracle you make it through, I will grant you permission to be on my show, WrestleMania. But if you don't, I'm freezing your contract and I'm suspending you without pay because as I said, Owens, I own your ass. So Owens is sent to the ring to face the gauntlet laid out by Vince McMahon himself. And up first, it's Matt Riddle, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. Riddle and Owens exchange briefly before Owens, depending on how you look at it, smartly manhandles Riddle outside the ring, first uses a back suplex on the apron, and as much as that would hurt, it would have nothing on what was to follow. Owens grabs Riddle, picks him up in that familiar position, and slams Riddle on the apron with an apron powerbomb, followed up by swinging him into the apron again. And Owens returns Riddle to the ring, and of course, he makes sure he hits him with a stunner first, and then he pins him for the first win in the gauntlet. One, two, three. Riddle's eliminated, but Owens isn't done there. He starts pounding on Riddle. Owens is furious. And shortly after that though, Riddle's tag team partner, Randy Orton comes steaming down the ramp to try and save his partner. And also, Randy Orton is next up in the gauntlet. So the second fall is underway and Orton, as always, tries for an RKO, but he's denied. Owens then manages to get his way on top again, drop kicks Orton to the outside. We all had a feeling of what the intention would be here. He picks up Orton just like his tag team partner and lands yet another apron powerbomb. Then he throws a limp Orton back into the ring. But again, he makes sure to add salt to the wound. He lands another stunner. And just like that, two of the four men in this gauntlet are gone and Owens is looking unstoppable with two rapid fire wins over two incredible performers. Before Owens can recoup though, you hear the music of the Archer of Infamy. Of course, Owens tore apart his match last week so if anyone had a vendetta against Owens right now, it's got to be Damian Priest. Priest gets down to the ring and they immediately get into the heavy stuff with Priest, completing an insanely impressive dive to the outside on Owens, and then sending him in the ring and manages to nail him with a reckoning. He covers him, the crowd on their feet, because they think that Owens is no longer going to WrestleMania, but Owens manages to kick out at the tightest of 2.9s. Priest is clearly frustrated, Owens is hurt, but Priest, he wastes too much time. He tries to pick up Owens, but instinctively, Owens fights back, and he's able to drop Priest near the ropes. Owens then scurries over for the pin, but unbeknownst to the referee, Owens 
out of sheer desperation has both feet on the rope and he steals the pinfall but before Owens can catch his breath we find out who the fourth and final competitor is of course it's Finn Balor another man that last week Owens put his hands on Balor and Owens exchange in the fourth and final fall and Owens showing his defiance by slapping the taste out of Finn Balor's mouth Owens looks for the stunner but Balor catches the leg and very smartly spins him around and nails a shotgun drop kick into the corner but while he's setting his feet from over the barricade comes Seth freaking Rawlins Rawlins who is incredibly hard to miss and gets the attention of Finn Balor on the apron who jumps down off the top rope to confront Rawlins perhaps his first mistake Balor who isn't in the mood for Rawlins knocks him off the apron with yes a stunner and then he hits a dive on Rawlins for his troubles as well. Balor slides back into the ring, but Owens has recovered from the distraction, nails a stunner, and wins the gauntlet match. But there is absolutely no time wasted by Owens to further his point. He throws Balor out to Rawlins, and Rawlins goes to work. Rawlins drops Balor and then plants him face first into the ground with his foot, bloodying up the US champion. Rawlins is then instructed to remove Balor from ringside, leaving Owens alone in the ring. Then, from the speakers, you hear a very familiar voice. Up on the Tron, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is on location. He's not in the building, but he has a message for Kevin Owens. He says, Kevin Owens, you're out there flapping your gums, writing checks that your ass can't cash and as far as I can tell you really want to be like me I still see some guy that I met in the airport begging for a photograph and begging for advice of how to break into the business and I see that same scared little child that needs my finish to get over well you asked for it so you got it you'll get stone cold but you won't get him like you want him a match <coughs> That ain't happening. No, and not because I don't think I could kick your ass, but because it's not worth it. The truth is, you're beneath me. I've been up and down the road with some of the greatest of all time, and what makes you think you deserve the chance to face me? But I'll humor you. Show me something next week. Get my attention. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll let you share the ring with the rattlesnake but until then I still think you're a little yellow belly bastard and that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so Owens is left in the ring looking furious but defiant and the rattlesnake just may have rattled the cage of the prize fighter the next week on Raw we open with a shot of Kevin Owens and he's backstage He's staring down the barrel of the camera and he says, Stone Cold wanted me to prove to him that I'm worth it, right? Fine. Have a look at this. He walks over and we see a down JBL bleeding behind him. Owen says, You regret sticking your stupid nose in my business now, John, huh? You want to send me tweets? You want to send me little videos? You want to talk sh He grabs him. Ragdolls him around the backstage area and starts to walk him towards the arena. Owens has a bloody JBL in his hands, another Hall of Fame Texan. He's walking him towards the ring and Owens then puts him in the ring and continues to beat the holy hell out of JBL and in between, constantly screaming, where are you at Austin? Are you impressed yet? What will it take? Maybe you're the coward. Where the hell are you at? What are you doing about this? The assault continues, but then the camera cuts backstage. The crowd explodes as through the backstage area comes a clearly pissed off rattlesnake. He gets to a security guard that tells him Vince has requested that he not be in the same building while Owens is in it. Without saying a word, Austin stuns the hell out of the security guard, flips him off and keeps walking through. Yeah. This ain't Steve Williams, 
This is Stone Cold. Austin reaches another security guard who has the same directive. Austin makes light work of him as well and throws him into a nearby trash bin and continues his walk towards Owens in the arena. Then up ahead, as somewhat the last line of defense, we see Kevin Owens' friend, Seth Rollins. Rollins stands firm as the rattlesnake approaches and Austin says, you don't get the hell out of my way on your own. I'll have to make you. You don't want that, Seth. You really don't want that. Rawlins replies, you're going to have to make me, old man. Rawlins throws the first shot and the two exchange until Austin fires off yet another stunner to Rawlins, leaving him laying and also the last line of defense laying. Austin wastes no time. He heads out to the arena. The crowd explodes. This is their first sighting of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Owens has seen all of this take place and he's waiting in the ring. He's talking trash as Austin is walking towards him. Austin reaches the ring and as he does, Owens slips out. The crowd boos the building down. Owens asked for Austin. He wanted Austin. He got Austin and now he chooses to bail out of the ring. Austin's incensed, talking all kinds of sh** to Owens. So much so that Owens gets up on the apron, contemplates getting in the ring. He's pacing on the apron. The crowd is willing it on. Everyone wants to see them go, but Owens, yet again, bails. Owens walks around the ring and then he says to Stone Cold Steve Austin, we're going to do this on my terms. Whatever we do at WrestleMania, whether it's a KO show, whether we have a match, or whether we just fight in the street before it even goes on air, I'm kicking your ass, but I'm doing it at WrestleMania. So whatever we do at WrestleMania, it's on my terms, Austin. Austin is left furious in the ring. He tells Owens that he will see his ass at WrestleMania, and Austin watches Owens leave. But it won't be the last time he sees him. And the rattlesnake knows that for sure. It's time for WrestleMania Dallas. And we know we have the old Stone Cold. But what will he be doing tonight? That's the question on everyone's mind. Is it a match? Is it a KO show? Well, it doesn't take long to find out just what Kevin Owens is wanting. The prize fighter comes out. He's dressed for a fight. And he's wearing a very appropriate shirt for the occasion that says KO 316. And... Owens grabs the mic, but before he can say anything, we again hear the music of the boss. McMahon struts out famously. He seems very calm and he seems very happy with himself. And he says to Owens, Kevin, before you say anything, I've got something to say myself. You've tormented me. You've tormented current day talent. You've even tormented Hall of Fame legend. So, luckily, you're dressed for the occasion. I'm glad you've got those wrist tape because you need to be ready for the fight of your life. Not with Steve Williams. Not even with Steve Austin. You're getting a match with Stone Cold Steve Austin. The crowd explodes. McMahon flips Owens off and walks backstage. The crowd is in a frenzy. And then the moment we've all waited for. Owens is very quick to realize that this isn't just stone cold. This is the old Stone Cold. Austin is powering to the ring and the crowd is going ballistic. It's an absolute frenzy in the arena. And Owens waits defiantly for the biggest match of his life. The bell rings. The crowd immediately stands. And there is an enormous, this is awesome chant. The two men lock eyes and they do not break their stare until they begin to circle. 
The crowd waits with anticipation and Austin and Owens begin exchanging very quickly and the place erupts. You can see the distinct influence Stone Cold has truly had on Owens with his brawling style. Austin gets some early ascendancy, stomping a mod hole in Kevin Owens, just like we've seen before. Later in the match, Owens is able to knock the Rattlesnake out of the ring. And you know what he's looking for. He's looking to put Austin away forever. He's looking for that devastating apron powerbomb. But Austin's able to escape. And unbelievably, he nails Owens with a stunner on the outside of the ring. Knowing that he has to get him inside the ring to pin him, Austin desperately throws him in the ring to cover him. But the time it took to get him back in the ring cost Austin the win on this occasion as Owens slips out of the pin at 2.9. As the match grows into the final stages, Austin is pulling everything out of his arsenal and he's beginning to get desperate. Several shots to the forehead of Owens opens him up. As Austin is looking to further the damage though, Owens finds a way to somehow get some separation and he nails a pop-up powerbomb. One, two, Austin slips out at 2.9. It's on a knife's edge. Austin is hanging on, but only barely. And now, having tasted his own blood, Owens wants to draw the blood from the rattlesnake as well. He busts open Austin, but he's far from done there. Owens, in total desperation to beat Stone Cold Steve Austin, draws on Austin's past, and he locks in something that's synonymous with his fellow Canadians, the sharpshooter. A throwback to Bret Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin in that famous match that arguably made Stone Cold who he is today. He's holding on. He's wrenching on the sharpshooter. The blood is flowing down the face of Austin. It's all too familiar. But this time, Austin digs down deep. Looks for a second stunner, but the leg gets caught. Owens had it scouted. Owens then spins him around and again tries something else that has worked previously on Stone Cold. A rock bottom. One, two, the rock bottom can't even get it done. Austin will not die. We're at the bottom of the ninth. The only thing left is a battle of attrition. Austin throwing at Owens. Owens throwing at Austin. And with Austin clearly wilting to the younger Owens, who is at the peak of his powers, he throws up one more act of defiance. Owens loses it. He sets up Austin for what looks like he's going to drop him on his neck with a package pile driver. But at the last second, out of respect, he turns it into a power bomb, And he delivers one last stunner. Austin goes out on his own sword, and Kevin Owens wins. From the airport as a kid, getting advice from Stone Cold, to defeating him at WrestleMania. Right after the match though, there's no celebration from Kevin Owens. He exits the ring quietly, he walks up the ramp, he turns around, and you can see him mouth the words, thank you. Owens leaves Austin in the ring, who slowly gets to his feet. He takes a moment to walk around and look around at the crowd in Dallas where he started his career. He had one retirement match, but no one knew it at the time. This one is different. The Texas Rattlesnake has gone out on his own terms, on his back like the old pro that he is. Austin, this time, able to savor the moment. He does the four post salute in famous Stone Cold Steve Austin style for the one last time to the crowd and we fade to black. <laughs>